Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020-2021 Upper Deck SP Authentic Hockey 8 box. Pick your team number 4 with a free spa box being given away at the end if you follow the instructions here. No vet commons ship. This is break number 4. This is the second uh, inner case from that master case we popped open. We've got another master case loaded up as well. So break 5 and 6 loaded up just a few moments ago if you're watching live. Get your teams before they're gone. Han, last spot mojo, Montreal Canadiens. Thanks to him. And there it is. Pick your team four. We marked that in the previous break. Right here. These have been selling pretty steadily, so thanks everybody. It's rare that we, we do this much hockey, so it's so it's a nice uh, a nice change of pace. You mean, Logan, did we go on his yacht? Adam's saying that's because this is the best rookie product for hockey of the year. Adam's saying this is like the prism of hockey. I see. Yeah, I guess I do. I'm thinking back. I guess I guess I do remember doing a lot of SP Authentic over the years. If there's any hockey, I mean, it's, hockey is not... We want to grow the hockey, obviously. We'd love to sell more hockey, but we know that it's not the biggest seller on our channel, at least. But... But I think when and if we do sell a boatload of hockey, it's usually, uh, oftentimes it's SP Authentic. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you check the schedule, you'll see that we're, we're down to the last hour of the broadcast. I don't have too much. Might, might be a little over, to be honest with you, but so maybe maybe a little under an hour left. But uh, we do have two box random team breaks of this on the site. It's a cool Connor McDavid right there. Um, so. You want to do a quick two box random team break? I am down. Obviously, these those limited parallels will ship. That will ship as well. Mitch Marner Spectrum FX. And there's a level one Sasha Kamvelski Spectrum FX. What's what's up, Carl? What's wrong? OMG, he's saying. There's Ty Smith, 332 out of 9.99. Nice New Jersey Devils. That'll be for Matt. There you go, Matt. And a limited auto materials, Dylan Larkin. Patch Auto, 24 out of 50. I've heard of him. Detroit, that's going to go to Mike. Kale McCarr, limited, red parallel is cool as well, the world champs. 
Dodgers hosting the Padres. They're tied at one in the bottom of the fifth. We've got a runner on, though. Let's see what else is happening in the world of baseball today. It's Thursday, so I guess it's a travel day for a lot of teams, so not a lot of games happening. Wow. Cubs knocked out 23 hits for 15 runs on the Reds. Let's see who's, who is doing the damage here. Ooh. Uh, they had a five-run second and a five-run eighth. Contreras with went two for five. Ian Happ went two for five. Velasquez had, wow. Patrick Wisdom, three for six with six RBIs. There you go. Nico Horner went three for six. Higgins went three for five with a couple RBIs. Christopher Morrell had a couple RBIs. Went five for five. Did I start him in my fantasy league today? Red scored seven runs, but that was not was not enough. Lafreniere for uh, the Rangers, Mike, with that insert. Yeah. The Reds is Ashcraft giving up seven earned runs. Schrock gave up five earned runs later on. Ouch. Got a Pierre Luc Dubois, Spectrum FX. Those kind of different levels too, like this one. That's uh, Mattis Kavlinkis. Kavlinix. RIP. Be careful, 4th of July weekend, ladies and gentlemen. And Kiefer Bellows for the Islanders, 683 out of 9.99. Brewers, or Braves, gave up two touchdowns today. G-Lo knows that because he had Ian Anderson on his fantasy team. And he had a 31 ERA. You're not saying 3.1, right? You're saying a 31 ERA. Ooh, nice future watch auto. Tim is Stutzel. 9.10 out of 9.99. I've been told that this, this guy's a pretty good one. Han with the Ottawa Senators.
All right, next box. Yeah, these cards are really clean. Has anyone actually done this bounty mission? Getting all those Spectrum FX cards? And doing the bounty, what do you get? All right, Blue Jays beat the Rays 4-1. Pirates beat the Brewers 8-7. Astros beat the Yankees 2-1. The Yankees are a mortal team after all. Yeah, and there's the Phillies score. Phillies put 14, put a couple touchdowns on the Braves, only managed four points. Um, Guardians beat the Twins 5-3, and the only two games that are in, prog in progress, in progress, what am I, English? In progress right now is uh, this Dodgers game. Padres at Dodgers, tied at one, top of the six. And A's are in Seattle. Seattle is up 8-4 on the A's. Oh, Adam's saying you gotta open so many boxes to even get to do that Spectrum FX bounty and Scour eBay. Oh yeah, I heard that, uh, I heard the, uh, the Guardian Stadium is really nice. Adam, you think you can get like, you still can get like, uh, Indian stuff. What do what do the what does the office do with all of the? They must have pens, like letterheads, folders, binders, all sorts of stationery that have like all the old logos on. What? A, where is that now? You think that's just in a storage shed somewhere? They just recycle it, I guess maybe. You think someone has like a whole like ream of like uh, a whole ream of old uh, Cleveland Indians letterhead sitting there somewhere? 402 out of 500, Arthur Kaleev for the Kings, Future Watch. That is for Steve Locke and my Kings. And we've got Jake Gunsel. Sign of the Times autograph. For the Penguins, that is for Andrew, Pittsburgh. Yeah, of course it's live. <laughs> There's a uh, Brandon Hagel, five seventy one out of nine ninety nine, for Chicago. That's for Nicholas. And another autograph, sign of the times, Saku uh, Koivu for the Montreal Canadiens. That's for Han, last spot mojo. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. Celebrated moments. Next box.
No, yeah, you're never gonna find. Uh, yeah, all those all those old logos must uh, must be. Um, all that m must be at like a huge markup, huge premium, until they run out of stock. You have 50 hats, different fitted caps to go with all your clothes. I have a lot, actually, I might have a lot of hats too, but if you're a collector though, does that mean like you take care of the hats? I, see, I don't. I have a lot of hats, but then I just wear them, I kind of beat them up, and kind of wear them, wear them in. photography on these inserts here. Are we not getting an autograph out of this box? Sometimes you don't. Maybe that extra autograph in the previous box. So for that happened in the last master case too. I feel like there was like one box that didn't have an auto, and other people were like, "Yeah, it seems seems to be a pattern." On average. <laughs> Send it back. You do realize that if we send the boxes back when there's no autos, we also have to send the boxes back that have extra autos. So we should send one of these autographs back from the previous box. Yeah, thankfully we're doing group breaks. Let's see the advantage of doing group breaks, Adam. What, what card, Logan? Logan has a card on, on eBay that he thought would sell for 200 bucks, but it's up to 760. You're way off, Logan. That's, that's a nice surprise. Yeah, unless that's a good point. Adam's like, gotta make sure that person pays though. Hopefully they're not artificially upping the price. Yeah, it's one of the big problems. Yeah, exactly, Logan. One of the biggest problems on on eBay. No, Future Watch out of five hundred, Liam Foudy. And Elias Peterson Spectrum FX. 
This is for the Blue Jackets, Kevin, with Liam. Here's a level two, Philip Kurashev for Chicago. That'll be for Nicholas. And 150 out of 399 future watch autograph, Ryan McLeod for the Edmonton Oilers. That's going to go out to Inku. And a sign of the times autograph, Shea Theodore. Alvin Simon Theodore. That goes to Ryan Lind and the Golden Knights. Dude, dude. All right, yeah, two autos out of there. Does that mean the next one's no auto? About to find out. Everyone here, uh, Mark Appel, 30 years old, made his debut for the Phillies. He was the former, what, number one overall pick or something like that? Really highly touted. I feel like some of you may have some stories about Bowman draft cards you've had of his, but then injuries just derailed his career. He was almost out of, out of baseball for a couple years, and then it made his way back with the Phillies, and now has made a couple appearances out of the pen. Or an appearance out of the pen. a big rookie I'm looking for in here. Kaprizov, Lafreniere. I feel like I've seen like zero Lafreniere. I saw a couple Sutzel autographs, but I feel like I, we haven't even run into like like Lafreniere like Future Watch cards or anything like that. It's pretty rare. I mean, they make the same amount technically. We just no, technically we just haven't seen him. Spectrum FX or Tammy Panarin. So I was like, I was like, I'm pretty sure this is the Lafreniere class. I feel like I haven't really seen a lot of him. There's Shane Bowers, level one Spectrum FX. For the world champions, Andrew with the Avs. Tyler Benson, 714 out of 999. Future watch autograph for the Oilers. That's going to be for in Coop. Yeah, everyone's behind. Charismatic. I think, uh, and we got two autos in this one. Mark Shifley, two-time All-Star. 
Sign of the times. Hand numbered 15 out of 25. Winnipeg. Sean Gola with the Jets. Yeah, I think with the with the pandemic and supply chain issues. They had it the worst than all of them. Yeah, I think the Upper Deck had the Upper Deck actually canceled a few products, right? Mm -hmm. They canceled a few products. Other products were pushed back. So, I mean, if you think about it, even Panini too. We haven't even seen. We only recently saw Prism Football, and I think we're gonna get Select Football from the 2021 class, like later this month or later in late in July. Well, probably when we're at the national. So, everyone's behind. It was also making evidence football. I saw that. It's gonna be crazy. So I don't know. I think it might it may take another twelve months for them to catch up on everything. I feel like hockey really just needs to release cup now. I think it should almost be done. Yeah, we're close to being done though, right? Yeah, maybe cup. No, I don't think they're gonna cancel a product like cup. No, they randomly just drop it sometimes. It'll be like it comes out in three weeks. Right. Boom. I think Cub would be the last thing they can. I think it was just like some mid-range products that we were expecting in December. And then like in late November or something like that, we got a, we got an email from, from the Upper Deck people saying that they were canceling, you know, a, a few, maybe three or four releases, I want to say. And they'll just, they'll just be out of the rotation this particular year in order for them to focus on more of the flagship stuff like Series 1 and 2 and this, SP Authentic, I'm sure, among others. But I, I would be shocked if they canceled something like the Cup. Especially with all the, so much visibility and popularity that thing has. Nice, Surge trying to pack a Panini. 2021 Prism Football at Target. Pulled a Trey Lance rookie card, green fireworks. Nice. All right, second to last box. Good luck, everybody. Timothy Lil Jegren. 515 out of 9, a 99 for Toronto. Mike. And there's Igor Shusurkin for the Rangers. Spectrum FX. We got a Vitaly Kravstov, level 2 Spectrum FX for the Rangers. Mike Samich. And a future watch autograph of uh, Dante Fabro. This Fab Auto going to to Nicholas D. Preds. Three twenty nine out of three ninety nine. 
And a sign of the times autograph, Tyler Johnson of the Lightning. 2020 champs is the inscription. 12 out of 49. Nice inscription there. And that's Nicholas again with Tampa Bay. Nice. Last box. Uh, a California agency has cleared the way for the Oakland A's $12 billion ballpark plan. Does that mean the A's are staying out there? That'd be nice. The California agency on Thursday cleared the way for the Oakland A's to continue planning a $12 billion waterfront ballpark project. The San Francisco Bay Conservation and Development Commission voted 23 to two to reclassify a 56-acre terminal at the Port of Oakland as a mixed-use area where a new ballpark could be built. The vote is the first in a series of legal hurdles the team would have to overcome before it gets permission to break ground for the project. The commission followed a recommendation from its staff which found the team demonstrated removing the terminal from port use, quote, would not detract from the region's capability to handle the projected growth in cargo. Oakland Mayor Libby Schaff said the approval moved the city closer to bringing, quote, this bold vision into a beautiful reality and keep our A's rooted in Oakland for generations to come. That's good. I think seeing some of the, uh, it's worth looking up some of those artist renderings if you're into this sort of thing. Um, because if they finish this project, that's going to be, it's going to look pretty nice. So it looks like maybe the A's to Las Vegas for now. Those that is not going to happen at the moment. Now put the put, now put the Tampa Bay Rays in a better stadium. Put it near like where the Lightning play or something like that. And that would be good for that'd be good for the Tampa Bay Rays too. These are pretty nice. Lucas Carlson, Young Guns, Acetate. Really sharp looking cards. This is for uh, Nicholas and the Chicago Blackhawks. I like the look of this. Oh, nice, thanks Matt. Appreciate that. There's David Pasternak. I don't want to forget the, uh, the box giveaway. There's Pierre-Luc Dubois. Winnipeg Jets. That's going to go to Sean Gola. Steven Lorenz. 572 out of 999. Future Watch autograph. That is for the Canes. Andrew. With the uh, Carolina Hurricanes. Rock you like a hurricane. And another autograph. Tevu Turvainen, another Carolina Hurricane. You know when uh when two hurricanes when two hurricanes uh, in nature swirl around each other, it, it happens occasionally. Uh, I believe that is called the Fujiwara effect. When uh when two hurricanes orbit around each other in the wild. Just like that. We still have a stack of cards here. Is there a chance we can get another auto out of here?
A's can stay in Oakland, bases loaded, saying Angels can come to Las Vegas. Yeah, I guess if, if Artie Moreno ever sells. And Stomp goes at the end. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you bought at least two teams, you'll be eligible for an entry and a chance at a sealed box of the brand new 2020 2021 Upper Deck SP Authentic Hockey. Sealed box. So let's alphabetize by your first names here. Andrew got four teams, so by an even number of teams, half of those become entries. Dario, two teams, one entry. Han, three teams, but for the purpose of the promo, two counts, still an entry. Inku, just one. Kevin with two teams, one entry. Matt, two teams, one entry. Mike with four teams, that's two entries. Nicholas with four teams, that's two entries. Peter with a team that's an entry. Ryan with a team that's an entry. Sean with a team, two teams that's one entry. Steve Locke with two teams that's an entry. Let me just spot check this one last time. So I got Steve, Sean, not Ryan P, yes Ryan L, Peter, Nicholas, Mike, Matt, Kevin, not in coup, but yes Han, DJ, Andrew. Ooh, is that Justin Turner with another home run? There you go, JT. All right, so one spot of the 14 is going to win a sealed box. Good luck. Name on top after 10. Four and a six, 10 times. Dodgers up 3-1. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and tenth and final time. Mike Samich. Mike, sealed box. I don't know if I called your number too often during the break, but a sealed box going your way. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye. Go Dodgers.